clear. Woo! Good morning, everybody. Noah with Madison Angling. I'm out here with my buddies Jim and Alex. We are on Lake Michigan this morning. We got the boat out. First run of the year, and we are chasing giant brown trout. We're going to be doing some jigging. We might do a little trolling, but we just got out. Obviously, you had to break a bunch of ice to get out, but we are here. This is happening. Let's do it, guys. You guys ready? I'm ready. PB brown trout? PB. Let's do it. All right, so the rig we are starting out with this morning is super simple. We are rolling with a six and a half to seven foot medium light spinning rod rigged up with braid. And we're going down to a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. And the reason we're going kind of heavy with the leader is the zebra mussels on the bottom in this particular spot. The zebra mussels are really nasty. If you get hung up on the bottom they will destroy your line so you want to make sure you have a heavy enough leader to kind of deal with those and the water is just colored up enough that visibility isn't really going to be that big of an issue so we're able to use braided line a little bit heavier leader material and on the business end we're rolling with a 3 8 ounce cast master or casting spoon of some kind uh, color it kind of varies every day out here but it seems like as long as it's shiny, it doesn't really matter. So that is what we're gonna try. We're in about 30 to 33 feet of water and vertical jigging. First cast, didn't even have the camera ready yet. Figured, oh, it's not gonna happen first cast and we are hooked up. Good one. Feels decent. First brown trout. Hopefully a brown trout of 2020 on the new Eagle Claw EC 2.5, seven foot medium. Oh yeah, I think we got a real one here. Head shaking, head shaking, head shaking. There's the leader. It might be a big one, dude. Oh, uh, it's not small. That was on my silver and sartreuse cast master. Oh, just running back oh, to the bottom. Big. Running that back to the bottom, baby. That might be a good fish. You might need the big net. Think so? Uh, we'll see. We'll get him back up to the surface and we'll know. Trout like small net. Oh, it's big. It's big. It's big. It's huge. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> buddy. Look at that brown trout, man. Oh man, dude, that's gotta be a 10 pounder. That was quick. That is what we came here to Lake Michigan for. What a giant brown trout. All right, I'm gonna get that hook out. There's a little blood. We're gonna get that hook out quick and we are gonna show you this beautiful, beautiful brown trout. All right, guys, let's take a look. My first brown trout. Oh, come here, girl, come here. My first brown trout of 2020. Hang on, girl, hang on, girl. Look at that that right there is a lake michigan beast of a brown trout i bet you that's probably 10 pounds that oh yeah a beast. maybe even a dozen that's a beauty crushed crushed my cast master what a gorgeous animal and we're gonna get her right back here we go guys give her a second and goodbye yeah man all right <laughs> Jim needs to get a giant brown trout. Have you ever caught a brown trout on Lake Michigan? I have not. All right, Jim's got to get one. First cast for me. Alex is usually the one that kicks my butt out here. But hey, I'll take it. 10 pounder, first cast. Heck yeah, man. Nice work. Let's get another one. Yeah, so the way we're fishing these, we're either vertical jigging just like walleyes or we're doing something called snap jigging, which I use a lot for walleyes, especially in the spring and summer but I'm essentially casting my spoon out. We're about 30 to 33 feet of water. We're casting up to a discharge here. We're letting it hit bottom, reel the line tight, give the rod a quick snap, reel up the slack, let it fall, hit bottom, snap it again. Having a sensitive rod and especially braided line makes it a lot easier to know that you're down on the bottom and you know when the, the spoon or the jig hits the bottom. So nice even cadence just a quick snap and they almost always hit it on the drop and when they hit it they just about rip the rod out of your hand there's nothing else like this and man do they freaking fight brown water browns. 
I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I am on again. Oh, dude, this might be a good one, guys. Yeah, it was a good one. They're all good ones. Oh, it's coming in weird though. I don't know this one. I don't know. No, it's it's rolling around in the line. I don't know. This could be something else. This could be a laker. Or it's not a burbot. Small mouth. It's on the surface. It's right here. It's right here. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah. Not even five minutes apart. We got another gorgeous brown trout. Yeah, it looks like a male. Yep, just totally woofed. Jeez. Woofed my spoon, man. Look at that, just gone. Look at that big kipe jaw on him. Holy cow. That's a nice trout. Look at that thing, man. Just totally, look at that spoon, just chomped. All right, we're gonna keep him in the water. I'm gonna get him unhooked and we'll show you guys this fish. All right, guys. Oh, look at this thing. Little bit of blood. He was hooked in the tongue, but he's gonna be just fine. Another gorgeous, gorgeous Milwaukee Brown. That is a stocked fish. You can see it's missing the adipose fin, but absolutely crunched, crunched that, that spoon. Jaw. Look at that. Look dude. at that big old buck. What a gorgeous fish. Let's get him back and let's catch another one. That blood looks bad, but he's gonna be just fine. There he goes. You can't hardly see the blood. There he goes. Right. Heck yeah, guys. All right, Jim. Get on the board, Alex. I'm trying, man. Get on the board, fish slayer. Let's get it done. Uh, it should be, well, they'll be out by the break wall. And the gaps are on the outside of the break wall, so maybe today wouldn't be a good, yawn. All right. But I've got a live fish on the end of my line. This is a... Might be a good one, man. Ooh. Ooh. Nice one. No, he's looked great. Nice, man. All right. What was, what was, what was, what was that? Oh, sweet. What a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Here's some pliers for you. Yeah, what's with you and the bright ones? That's all right, what a gorgeous fish. Probably another, at least eight pounder probably. Sweet, well, let's pop the hook. We'll get a look at this girl. Wow, look at that. Nice one, dude. All right, let's get a quick picture here. Turn it towards me a little bit, head towards me. Good. Got her. All right. Nice one, man. Sweet. Beautiful. Gone. Woo. Nice, dude. Gorgeous. All right, Good Jim. Going. Come on, Jim. Let's catch All right. one, Jim. <laughs> All right, I'm getting back to jigging. Jim is Jim. not on. What the hell is going on with this trolling motor now? Uh, good one or no? That was a fish, wasn't it? I think so. I think so. I think the numbers have gone down in Madison since they shut Oscar Meyer down. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Right under the boat. This one's not big. It's not big. It's not big. Oh boy, but he is gonna take me for a ride. Oh buddy, oh man, look at him go right under the boat. Oh man, he is just freaking out. Get out of there, dude. Get out, get out, get out. There he is. What do we got? We got a brownie. Is that a brown or a rainbow? It is a brownie. What's up, buddy? Come here. Ah! Dude, they fight so incredibly hard. This is basically 
like walleye fishing on super steroids because they actually fight. Holy cow. Here we are in March, ready to go. Holy cow, you done, dude? This guy actually whacked it from underneath. There we go, we'll just get him right back. Again, on that Castmaster, the Sartreuse and Silver. One thing that I do with these is I actually upgrade my split rings and I actually upgrade my hooks. I go with a slightly bigger Eagle Claw hook that actually got bent just a little bit on the release there, so we'll go ahead and bend that back just a little. Kind of crimp the bar, but you know what? The way these things hit and the way they pull, you could fish these fish barbless no problem, and you're not going to lose them. So 3 8 ounce casting spoon, upgraded hook, upgraded split rings, about a 2 foot, 15 pound fluoro leader to my 20 pound suffix braid. Awesome, man. All right. Let's catch another one. That's a fish. I'm on. It feels decent. It's big. It's big. It's big. You reel it. You might have to reel up. It's big. It's under the freaking boat. Under the freaking. Oh, going to the other side. Nope. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Coming your way, Jim. Yep. Maybe. Under the boat. Under the boat. Get out of there. It's a little guy, huh? There he is on the transducer. Oh, it's off. Oh. Way to go. Oh, wow. Jeez. Get better at fishing. <laughs> that was a big one. <laughs> Darn it, it's been like, what, 15 minutes since we had any action? Dang it, that was a big one. That was a big one, it was definitely the net man's fault. Alex, you should have been on that. We're gonna switch gears here a little bit. <clears throat> I am going to try a drop shot. Because why not? We're marking fish, we know they're here. But the spoon thing it's kind of gotten sort of quiet, so we're going to try just a drop shot. We got a number two trocar drop shot hook. And we're going to throw a little fathead minnow on there and see what happens. Maybe we'll catch another trout. I don't know. What? Come out here. On. Drop shot. Alright, break him out. Jim, put that shit away. Don't swear. Put that stuff away. <laughs> Alright guys, just switched over to a drop shot. Same thing I use for smallies and walleyes with a fathead minnow. The bite really slowed down on the spoon, so I figured, well, let's try something a little smaller and something alive just got picked up this might be a decent fish they do call you mr finesse i am not known for being a very finesse fisherman got it i'm on the trolling motor shit okay we're good hit the anchor again all right hit it again hit it again hit it again one time. There you go. Don't touch it. Thank you, Eric. Good, good swing. That was scary. But we have this hook buried in this fish. So I'm not too worried about this thing popping off. Yep, I think we got a real one here. Guys coming back to the boat. Probably going to go under again. Yep. It's right here. Nice one. Nice. All right. On the drop shot. That is how we do that. All right. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. That hook is perfect. Right in the corner of the mouth. Where are those pliers at? There we go. Absolutely perfect. Right in the corner of the mouth. Flip around there, dude. 
Look at that hook right there. Perfect. How perfect, the nose. perfect is that. Get this line out of here. There we go. Look at that. That is a gorgeous Lake Michigan brown. All right, we're gonna throw them back in the net for a sec and we'll get a better look at this fish. All right, guys, let's take a look at another stud. Oh, brown trout. <laughs> look at that thing. Smash the drop shot. This actually feels like kind of a, a spawned out female. Its belly's kind of soft right there, but. Fathead minnow, number two trocar, drop shot hook. How fun was that fight, man? That's they go, nice they go where you want, or sorry, let me start over. They go <laughs> where they want to go, not where you want them to go. So what a gorgeous animal. Let's get this thing back. Oh, there she goes. Gone. gone. Awesome. Good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's very good. Clutch net job, beautiful. All right. I'm enjoying be being your the, net uh, man today. We might be on, yeah, really. We might be on the drop shot program here, I think. What do you think, Jim? I don't know. I'm in. You're onto something, that's for sure. I'm in. I don't know. I think I'm getting lucky, but I think we're gonna rig up some drop shots, get some meat down there. See, we keep smacking some more fish here. Usually, this is about the time of morning where it kind of slows down and we maybe switch over to trolling, pulling dipsy divers and spoons, which we may possibly do today at some point. But I mean, the golden rule is never leave fish to find fish, and we are on fish every time i look at the graph we got fish down there so switch tactics they're trout even though we're on lake michigan we're using kind of not real finesse stuff they are still trout they have their moments where they get really picky so i think we're gonna get a cup i think we're gonna get a couple more drop shot rods rigged up and uh keep catching fish i can't even talk so i'm still excited. i'm still i'm still like shaking i'm still jacked so up from that fish man all right guys let's do it let's get some drop shots rolling Big John too. Yep. Oh, he's gonna run again. He's gonna run again. He's gonna run again. Can't get him. I can't get him. Big bam. Big kite. Oh, nice one, dude. Look at this. Yeah. Nice. Sweet fish, nice. dude. Look at the jaw on that thing That's too. Awesome drop shots, man. It's a thing. Doing something different, man. It's drop shot. Thing. Awesome. That's a good fish. That's a real nice fish. Wow, look oh, at that good. thing. Look at the nose on that thing. Look at this head. Look at that. Big old gnarly kite. Gorgeous, man. On the drop shot. On the drop shot. Nice work. Thanks, buddy. Sweet. <laughs> nice work, man. Nice. Gorgeous. Gorgeous fish. One. I'm on. I'm on. It's not big at all. It is a brownie on the ice rod. Oh no, back reel, bad. Look at that. No, I'll get him. That was on a shiner. Wow, he is angry. You done? I was just gonna say it's cool ah. we haven't caught any of those. Uh, come here, buddy. Wow, look at that thing. What a little butterball. What a chunk. Oh, my goodness. Pop that hook out. Get him right back. See you, buddy. Ice rod for the win. What do you think of that, Alex? Shut up. <laughs> done with this. All right. Well, definitely the smallest fish of the day, but hey, trout on the ice rod. Let's see if we can get a big one. First trip of 2020 in the boat was successful. We got some brown trout, uh, lost a few fish, caught a bunch of fish, and hopefully we were able to show you guys. It's really windy. Hopefully we'll be able to show you. We were able to show you guys how easy it is to come out and catch these fish. Maybe not Jim so much. Nothing today. <laughs> but uh, it's really easy. You don't need a ton of tackle, and it's a lot of fun. It's some of the most fun you can have in freshwater. So be sure to come out and take advantage of this bite, 
and uh, don't know what the next video is going to be. We'll either be out here again or we'll be walleye fishing on one of the rivers. I have no idea, but either way, hopefully I see you guys on the next video. If you like this video, hit the like. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video.